It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Wednesday, September 2nd. I'm James Spann. Moisture levels creeping up. It's still the weather looks fairly quiet for the rest of the week. Check it out. Upper ridge in place across the southeast United States. Storm track well to the north. Starting off the day in the low 70s. Birmingham, you know, 17 consecutive days with a high under 90. The streak might end today. We'll be pretty close to 90 in most spots this afternoon. That's a watch warning map around the nation. Very quiet. A few red flag warnings out in the western states, and that's about it. Convective outlook today. A marginal risk way up north around Madison, Milwaukee, Green Bay, Wisconsin. But down here, we do note that we've got green. The guys at SPC think a few isolated storms could pop up this afternoon. But if they do, severe weather not expected. In fact, a lot of places will be dry. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning of next week. You can see the heavier totals to the south. And again, we always tell people if you've got a beach trip coming up and you see that, there's no need to panic and think you'll have a really rainy day. No doubt there'll be a few scattered storms for the Gulf Coast over the Labor Day weekend. But on the positive side, you should see a good six to eight hours of sunshine each day. Up here, it's suggesting rain amounts under one half inch. We do think we'll see a higher coverage of scattered showers and storms over the weekend, but again, scattered is the key word. Tropics, the ghost of Erica, moved inland late yesterday and last night over the Florida Big Bend region. Uh, Fred, the tropical storm, is out in the far eastern Atlantic. That'll just fizzle out in coming days with no threat to land. So let's look at model output. The uh, GFS, the 06E run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. Big trough in the Pacific Northwest. Got ridging for much of the southeast. There's a surface chart. Again, the moisture levels are creeping up today, so somebody somewhere might see a little shower. Here's the high-res HRRR, uh, valid at 3 o'clock, and you can see a few little specks out there. So we'll introduce isolated showers today, but nothing more than that. Tomorrow, pretty much the same thing. Both the NAM and the GFS, by the way, are at 93. They have had a warm bias lately, but a pretty good chance we touch at least 90 tomorrow. Partly sunny, and again, maybe a few widely scattered afternoon showers. And really the same thing on Friday. Showers are possible, but they should be very widely spaced. The high at or just over 90. All right, Labor Day weekend fans, look at the trough on Saturday in the western states. Goodness. Uh, and then uh, ridging and the, the higher heights are from the Great Lakes up to the northeast. It'll be some of the hottest weather they've seen uh, so far this summer. And, of course, technically we are in meteorological fall now. Surface charts, you can see an increase in moisture Saturday. So, again, we could see a few scattered showers and storms. The better coverage may be a little east of here. Football fans, uh, for Auburn fans going to Atlanta, your game is inside, so... You'll be dry for the game, but walking to the Georgia Dome, you might get wet. And Alabama fans will be in Dallas. It'll be hot. Uh, Mid-90s are likely out there Saturday, but chance of rain very small. Of course, if by chance it rains, they've got a roof on that uh, stadium there in Arlington. Sunday, moisture levels should be higher. We think the coverage of showers and storms will be greater Sunday. Highs dropping in the middle 80s with cloudy periods. And the same thing Monday of next week, Labor Day. A mix of sun and clouds with scattered showers and storms. Highs should be in the middle 80s. And a week from, I'm sorry, Tuesday, we all go back to work. Again, maybe a few scattered showers. And this is a week from today, Wednesday, September 9th. Troughing evolving north of the state. Down below that, a surface front just below Chicago. And again, we're in fairly moist air. So next week, it'll again, some risk of Scattered showers each day, maybe nothing too widespread with highs in the 80s and lows in the 60s. This is the end of the forecast, 9-11. This is uh, uh, Friday, the end of next week. Got troughing over the east and, uh, again, a nice continental air mass trying to nose in here. And if you look at numbers off the ensembles, the temperatures are just trending down very nicely. It kind of looks like September, doesn't it? Uh, we're, you know, be close to 90 uh, later this week, but by mid-month, highs closer to 80 and lows closer to 60. 
And that sounds pretty good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.